All right, the 2021 Rocket Mortgage Classic returns to the historic Detroit Golf Club this week. It means some of the world's best golfers are descending on the Motor City. It also is the first time that the tournament is welcoming back fans since the inaugural event in 2019. Sports director Brad Galley joining us live from DGC with how day one is shaping up, Brad. Let's talk through the grip while you're, or you're still Glenda and Alan, we've been waiting so yourself. long to say that it's and to see this. Actual here. golf fans so, watching uh, some of the pros competing. But really this is a unique event we're standing at as we get started. Golf. This is the youth event. Cameron Champ, Doc Redmond, and a group of pros leading some young kids through a clinic. It's been an historic first couple of days here with the Rocket Mortgage Classic still set to begin Thursday with tournament play. Justin Rose has more on a first of its kind event, the John Shippen. 2019 Rocket Mortgage Classic winner Nate Lashley has a very interesting story. We learned all about it, of course, as he marched to the championship here two years ago. Today, the main event, the John Shippen Invitational, bringing in players from minority backgrounds from all over the country to tell their stories for the first time. And as this tournament moves into the future and other courses hopefully around the country, these players are happy to be a part of it. Tim O'Neill isn't new to professional golf. The 48-year-old had experience behind his game today as he went five under over the two days to claim the exemption into the upcoming Rocket Mortgage Classic field. You know, I've been doing this for a long time, and for me at 48, you know, still be able to compete and be able to play uh, means a lot to me. And, you know, hopefully it's going to inspire guys, you know, not to quit and, and keep grinding. But for others in the field, they are the future of this tournament young, talented players from all different backgrounds given the chance to play for much more. And they're embracing that opportunity. To have people see how talented we are and if we can get opportunity, maybe, you know, open up more doors. And for us to win the inaugural, that means a lot. Um, and hopefully in the next couple of years, we'll have more people in the event. With Shipton coming along and, and, and having this exemption for a lot of the players, getting exposure, which I think is huge. And, you know, hopefully more guys coming behind me will be doing the same thing next year. Event organizers equally thrilled with the outcome of today's event, but not just because the golf was excellent. This event is a pioneer of its kind and hopefully a game changer for the future of golf. I have little kids instead of watching basketball all the time, seeing LeBron James is of the world and just see, you know what, hey, that, there's African-American guy, there's somebody that looks like me and I want to do that. that. I just think that's awesome to try to help the next generation. So we will see Tim on Thursday, Friday, and hopefully into the weekend here at the Rocket Mortgage Classic. As for the female winners, their tournaments, not for a couple of weeks, but they both told me they can't wait to share this experience with other tour players in hopes more word gets generated and more tournaments start showing up around the country. Brett? Me, it's kind of the same thing. You know, you yeah, Cameron Champ here is a first T graduate and he's on the PGA Tour now. Nicholas, are you having a good time? Yeah. My golf, my game is who he's representing here with a bunch of his friends. Good to see so many young smiles back out here in person watching some of the world's best. We'll have live coverage of the Rocket Mortgage Classic throughout the entire week and coming up at six, we're going one on one with Ricky Fowler. Reporting live from DGC, Brad Galley, 7 Action Sports. You know, Brad, it's great that the tournament's back. It's great that the fans are back. It's going to be just a fantastic week for everyone involved and, of course, for the city of Detroit.